This series considers a number of important issues in bridge resource management. of the Bridge Procedures series discuss bridge watchkeeping and the master-pilot relationship. As an extension to these topics, this video examines the importance of the human factor in accident prevention. Accidents will happen at sea, on land, and in the air. When they do, the usual response is to find someone to blame. Often the candidate chosen is the hapless individual in charge. But this approach misses the point. To improve safety, we need to look beyond finding a scapegoat. It means taking into account the human factor. As far as the shipping industry is concerned, this means turning away from the old-fashioned autocratic leadership style that was widespread in the past. Perhaps this was once an effective management style, but on high technology ships sailing in today's busy sea lanes, it is no longer appropriate. The airline industry has been aware of this for some time. But it took a terrible accident to change the perception of effective management on the flight deck. The accident happened in Tenerife in March 1977. Although there were a host of contributory factors, delays, poor visibility, difficult communications, perhaps fatigue. The disaster occurred principally because the captain of a KLM 747 started his takeoff run without proper clearance from the tower. At that point, low clouds rolled in just as another 747 was taxiing in the opposite direction on the same runway. The planes collided before the takeoff was completed. Tenerife remains the world's worst air disaster. 586 people died. From the cockpit flight recorder, it is apparent that both the first officer sitting next to the captain and the flight engineer behind him were aware of the situation. But their interventions were half-hearted. They were not assertive and failed to stop the captain because he was the senior pilot in the company, in charge of all 747 training, and a man of enormous prestige. His autocratic style was seen to prevent them from stopping the accident. This incident led the airline industry to realize that however committed to safety you were, whatever you spent on training, however experienced the crew, it was not enough. You also needed a management style appropriate to today's technology. In aviation, the days of autocratic captains are long gone. There's a teamwork approach where everyone is aware of what's going on. Everyone contributes and feels free to speak up if they feel something isn't right. Not stabilized, go around. My controls going round, full Five. power, flaps 22. With this Zero. approach, Flap mistakes up. can normally be corrected before they become disasters. 162. As both ship sizes and speeds increase, and as traffic grows, the lessons of that terrible day in Tenerife and the human factor studies it initiated become more and more relevant to what goes on in the wheelhouse. That was close, wasn't it? Very close. 
Human beings make mistakes. That's inevitable. The objective is to minimize the consequences of these mistakes. And that requires good training. It also needs an organization with sound operating principles. A teamwork approach where those on shore and those at sea work together in synergy to achieve their objectives. Synergy means working in a way which ensures that the whole result is better than simply adding together the results of the two teams. The overall result is greater than the sum of its parts. There is a high degree of situational awareness at sea and ashore. Everyone helps to enhance the performance of both sides. Everyone keeps an eye open for any error or mistakes that have crept in. To understand why we all make mistakes, we need to look at the study of human behavior, psychology. Three types of behavior have been identified in everyday life. These are knowledge-based, rule-based, and skill-based behavior.